All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. To my left, I got my brother, resident chef Bishop Greenleaf, my boy B. Hen. How you feeling, man? Again, hello. I'm great. <laughs> Not How again. are you? <laughs> they didn't hear the first take, but they hear now. You see, you already started off the episode snitching. <laughs> How are you? Austin White, man. <laughs> Hey, don't put that smut up. Oh, no, no, no. What you did to me last episode, pause, with the uh, the throw out, <laughs> that was insane. Oh, I bet you went on our page. <laughs> you don't have to remind them. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the R of the host. <laughs> dude, this dude is crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Hey man, he got on the eleven, so now I can't say shit to it, man. To my right, young Nacho, young T, you know the man of the hour, my boy. How you feeling? I'm good, bro, man. Chilling. Hey man, the by the door gang, you know what I'm saying? Be here, put his steppers on today. You, you son, you, you doing what you do? Yeah, these was by the garage door, ain't no. I really wish people knew how close the garage door was <laughs> to this and how the other door was. <laughs> the motherfuckers up late there are not by the door. These by the door, man. These my kick around. This is your kick around, the new yeah, kick around. These my house shoes, really. <sighs> I love the stunts. Hey, before we get to today's episode, you see this table. It is bare as fuck. We want to fill it up with your product. We got this laptop right here. We can slide you right here. Be him. He ain't sliding them off no more. Them is too crispy. But look, sponsors, we are looking for you. Look for us. Let's make some shake. Before we get into today's episode, um, I got to I gotta get into it with my guys here because they've been real disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? The weather getting real warm. It's time to pull out that good music, the good whips. And my guys here want to pull out Damian Lillard music. <laughs> the, the airplane snippet, the freestyle was hard, Fire. bro. Fire. And Dame Lillard, you know, is one of the elite basketball players in the league right now. And, you know, me and bro, like I said, we never agree, but we both said he's the greatest NBA rapper of all time. And, I, and I'm not going to disagree with that. But, here, have, but here's what I'm going to disagree with. Who has ever said, hey, turn that Dame on? Who's had, who's ever said turn that down Kennedy on? Oh, we we can on go the to the women's host. side. On the women's oh listen. If y'all tell if y'all on the internet telling me that Jay-Z is scaring the hoes, Damian <laughs> Lillard is most definitely you can hear it dry up. No, no, bro. I think a lot of people really, you know, fool with that freestyle that he got. It's better than anything that I heard from Dom Kennedy. You are a liar. I'm not, bro. Dom Kennedy is not lit like that. I, bro, just because he's, you can he's a he's a you know what Dom Kennedy is, and shout out to him. Hopefully we can get you on the show. Here come a disrespect. But he's like, you know, when you go to um like Rolling Loud, and you know, he like, like the, the first set. The, he we're gonna put Dom on. You you ever seen a, a Rolling Loud flyer? You're not gonna say my homie so, in a small part. You're not yeah. gonna do that. <laughs> that court. So uh, you know that. he got you got the you got the fat the fat bulb fly, yeah. and then you got the little yeah. the little tweeters. We're gonna throw Dom down there with the little tweeters. Bro. Don't do my nigga like yeah. that. So he'd probably come on if let's say you know, Rolling Loud is 10 hours, and it's from 1 to, you know, 11. Yeah, we'll put my nigga on the 2. He 130. Yeah, he 130. Y'all yeah. are disrespectful yeah. as hell in this podcast. He come on right after, like... Ooh, who he after? Whoever the local rapper in uh, L.A. or yeah, Miami where, is. Yeah. Now, look, I can't say certain words on this podcast now, but we itching it there. Because <laughs> we getting out of pocket. Bro, he's, who... He's never a closer. And that's fine, but Damian Lillard is? Kid ain't greater than Dom Kennedy. Oh, out the gate. <laughs> I'm bleeping this out. <laughs> I'm nothing. That's so yeah. disrespectful. You were the, the president of the Kid yeah. Club. You know Nasty. He don't have a main chick song. Yeah. Who? Dom Kennedy don't got no main chick with Chris Brown. Bro. Bigger than any record Dom has ever put out. Facts. Probably from a charge standpoint, no, yeah, no, but no, better. No. Easily. <laughs> Easily. Nah, bro. Just say you a stand. Bro, Dom got classic mixtapes, bro. <laughs> you got him a stand. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> I just don't know how we got Damian Lillard involved in this. No, because we just talking about rappers, bro. Yeah, but you have never... You don't... What like, Damian Lillard song like you listen Dame, to? Dame, Dom. I don't even know if Dom is worthy of opening up for Dame. Yeah. Dame rapped at the All-Star game, bro. Nigga, so Dom, what? I never even thought to call Dom. <laughs> I... <laughs> No kidding. <laughs> With that being said, how much, how much, <laughs> introduce the <a> podcast. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. Put Damian Lillard to see. Let him rap for the last 30 minutes of the podcast. Move hey, name me, name me a Damian Lillard song. I don't know one. Oh, okay. He just do freestyles, Team. bro. Uh, I, he do his little four bar. Oh, I forgot. Uh, four bar Friday. Yeah, he ain't did that in like, fucking six years. Don't act like he's a real artist like that. 
But I'm saying he ain't putting out singles all the time. Yeah, I, I now just I've been rapping niggas since you was 13. I just wanted you to name me a song since he was so cold. That's it. That is. Mm-hmm. I don't know no Dom. I Kitty can't name you a Dom. <laughs> Dom Kitty song. I don't think it was like, See, y'all disrespectful. Song. I, that's, I'm not even being funny. I'm I dead either. ass. I swear to God, I can't name a Dom Kitty song. Bro. I can't wait till this goes up. <laughs> I this could be a real too, bro. <laughs> nah, we can't real this because I don't like the way y'all portraying my dog right now, and I can't say certain words. <laughs> you can, bro. Speak your mind, can Speak your peace, bro. <laughs> All I'm saying is, when that weather get nice and niggas go wash their cars, they are not putting on no fucking Damian Lillard. We ain't putting no Dom Kennedy. Oh, you especially gonna hear in our city? Yeah. Oh, especially in this city. Hey, shout out to my boy Mike G. Sunday fun day coming. Sunset, sunset Sundays, right? Mm-hmm. I'm out sunset of pocket. Sundays. Be hitting you in that thing. Yeah, man. Shout out to Paul, too. We're going to be in there cooking it up. Hey, grab you a quality plate. You know what I'm saying? Support the gang. Support my boy, Mike G. And I guarantee you, when y'all get in that function, there's going to be some vibes going on. There will be a Dom Kitty song play. There will not be a Damon Lillard song. I can guarantee it. Bueller, hit my line. Moving moving forward. Moving forward. NBA playoffs is about to start. And we ain't about to get into the particulars. You know what I'm saying? But since we got Young Teague over here, I got to ask you. um, You had some real playoff runs. Did you really have to get ready for the playoffs? Like, I know that Hawks team, when y'all was going fucking crazy, y'all was just going crazy, period. Yeah. Did you have to really, like, lock in for the playoffs? It was just like... Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I hate disrespect. Hey, so disrespectful. Hey, hey, my nigga said, I know y'all was going crazy. <laughs> yeah, hey, was. though? It's the conference finals. Talk about oh, shout it. Out, shout out to the Hawkies. No, I don't uh, the Hawkies is nasty. I don't want to fuck up y'all shit. Shout out to them. Little birds. Man, dude, <laughs> I fuck with my dog, Neil. Nah, but it's a different mode because you about to go against the same team. A chance it could be seven times. So they know everything you're going to do. You know everything they're going to do. But it's fun, though, because you know everybody watching. So I always like yeah. the moments that everybody watching. So I usually play it better in the playoffs than I did in the regular season because sometimes you get not bored with the game, but, you know, you be doing other stuff on the road. When you're in the playoffs, you don't do nothing. You just be locked in. Damn. I got to ask a question because <clears> – <throat> With the bubble and stuff, how was that like? I ain't go to the bubble. I, I mean, like, I'm not you, but I'm saying like, they be kind of discredited like the the bubble ring and shit. And I'm just like, well, everybody had the same playing field. Yeah, they be saying that about the playoffs, but I'm just like, I don't feel like that's the same for everybody though, because I feel like that travel time do make a difference for certain nah, it people. It do, it do. And plus, you in the bubble, they ain't had no crowd. Like playing in Boston is harder than playing at the factory. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't nah, know. What, true. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no fans. It's really y'all mutual court. When you playing in Boston, that crowd yelling, you can't hear. Nah, it's different. Bro. Yeah, because people act like playoff atmosphere don't matter. I'm like, yeah, it does matter if you have home court. Yeah, facts. It do matter. Like, yeah. people play all year to get home court for a reason. I don't think that that's just not a factor. But, of course, you got people on Twitter who don't know what they're talking about anyway. Like, yes, bro, it does make a difference if that game seven is at the crib yeah, or if that yeah. game seven is away. For sure, yeah. <laughs> you didn't never have to do the play in, did you? Nah, that, nah. I hate the play in. Were you I out of the league by then? Yeah. You was done. I was no, done. They were just the good too. No, nah, nah, I'm saying yeah. I don't even think the play in was a thing was when it bro in was in there. Yeah, know, it was. But, yeah, but I wouldn't, the play in, I don't know about that. <laughs> he ain't yeah. never experienced that nah, shit. that's weird. I hate it. I think it's wacky shit. I know that we get more basketball, but it's like, bro, I'm nothing on the ninth and tenth seed, bro. Yeah, it's a money grab, but. It's smart. It. It's smart, yeah. You're a hustler. Yeah, you like they even, what they put a new tournament in in the middle of the season now? Next yeah. year? Yeah. yeah. I mean, so it's a money grab, but if you like ball, I guess it's cool. <laughs> we got like that. them last games the other day was good games, though. The, mm-hmm. the, yeah, they, they were. were. Yeah. Because they were bad. <laughs> they was okay like an NCAA tournament game with just NBA players. I mean, NCAA tournament exciting, so. You're right. I, Boys was hyped for Bron and them. Absolutely. Yeah, they was. Um, but the Lakers shouldn't be in the playing game. But that's what made it fire, though. Yeah. But even Pat Bev taking his jersey off last year. <laughs> Legendary. Go. Go. I thought they was so for real. Because I, I ain't watched the game, so I'm thinking, like, they, they clean, like you know, they done won the first round. They said, nah, he just made the playoffs. I said, oh. And that's nasty that you went in the championship to be the eighth seed in the West, bro. They, I understand why, but it's nasty. We shouldn't be celebrating that. I'm sick of running up trophies. Especially it's in not it. really even a running up trophy, bro. It's kind of like, bro, we was trash. We figured it out. They gave us a chance. We capitalized on it. Now we get to step into the real heat. How many teams are in each conference? I'm just saying, bro. It's it's it's. I'm. They did a lot, but at the same time, it was cool because it's like, bro, we wasn't supposed to beat them. Yeah. 
I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Now we get to play in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm we got hot, dusted. though, if I'm the team that actually was the seventh seed. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I'm hot. Like, but bro. I'm saying that's but that's I'm what hot. that's what I like about it. I hate it, but I like that about it because it's like it give that bottom team a chance, like, because maybe they got their shit together late, and it's like, damn, now we get to play these, uh, the Clippers or whoever they, I think it was the Clippers that they beat. No, we're going to show that we better than them. Let's rock out and send these things home. You know what I mean? So it, it made sense. For me, though, it's like if you if you had a major injury or something, then I get it. Like, all right, cool. Boys is coming back. If you had that whole team for 82 games, yeah. bro, you don't get no extra choices. Like this helps LeBron. <laughs> it does. Oh, for sure. So just say, just say the Lakers advance far. Bro, that's going to be hard, bro. Going from the plan to a championship is yeah. crazy. <laughs> Hey, and I oh, think if he do that, his legacy. Is, oh, he's a goat. As <laughs> raggedy as the NBA and he is, he probably thought of that. Like nobody ever did the play in to the championship. Thank you, team. You know, that's what I'm saying, sick. bro. Like he's that's probably, a story. That's why I, think, I really thought about that. Yeah, like started from the bottom. Now we he on that. <laughs> yeah, he, he really gonna. Oh yeah, man. Oh, he's the comeback they, kid. Yeah, because his whole everything the to me. Comeback this is, kid from Akron. I can see it on side. Of his this King. is why I think the NBA is somewhat fixed. Shout out to the script because I feel like he's been. Hey, yeah, I'm coming back. Hey, bro, you didn't tear your ACL. <laughs> <laughs> he's been prepping Instagram like it's been like a storyline. Yeah, now yeah. all of a sudden, now y'all seven seed. Then y'all drop. Then y'all just beat the hell out of the. Yeah, they didn't smack him, but they beat him, the Timberwolves. And then now it's like he making a last second shot. And yeah, ma- but no, but I'm saying though, now it's like he made a post. <laughs> Nasty. <It's, laughs> you know what I mean? Had a six six slider, and it's up. Like <laughs> they beat a team without honest, two man. starters at Rudy Gobert. And we supposed to celebrate that? Yeah, I had bro. Enough, man. And I was sick. My dude Anthony Edwards, he he only had nine points last night. I was hurt. Oh, well, we ain't gonna talk about it because you know what I'm saying we gonna keep nah, our content. He's still but. young. He, he got time. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying. Well, don't I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping on you out there getting getting work from Austin Reeves. Man, Come on, All Star. You know, I fuck with Anthony Edwards too. But hey, I, I, I'm sleeping on that one. He had a bad performance. Yeah. Man. But the play, like you said, that little tournament, not little tournament, but the tournament they're going to have next year are like, do you think players are going to actually fuck with that? Mm. They have to, I feel like they have to have some type of money incentive for that. Yeah, it's 500000 a player. You think that's enough? Nah. I mean, I don't know. It depends how many games you got to play. You got to play five, six games. People get paid more than that. Yeah. Two games. So, nah, it might not be beneficial. That's the only thing that's like throwing me off about it. Because I'm just like, if that's the case, they would just throw money in the All-Star game. Yeah. If they wanted to do that, they would just give a crazy incentive for the All-Star game and say, yeah. They gave we- everybody a million dollars. I guarantee people play harder. The winner, the winners get a million dollars. Yeah. And if you have, like you said, you might not have your starters going super crazy, but you might have some of them two-way players and them guys on the end of the bench. They might, it's their time to shine. Yeah, so right. it could be opportunity for us to see other players get they shit off. But at the same time, bro, I understand. Like, y'all season is already crazy. Who really wants to do this? But I'm not mad at it as a consumer, but I can see it way in both ways. Like, you add more games. Yeah. I don't know. They'll figure it out. Too. Yeah, they'll figure that shit out. But we got to talk about some real shit. Um, Everybody got to deal with money one way or another. So we're going to go across the board. We're going to talk about some things. T, I got a question for you. You know what I'm saying? You've been a part of some good things. Have you ever felt like you made, like, an investment that really, like, you didn't grab your chest and you realized it wasn't going to go the way you thought it was going to go? Yeah. Uh, An investment? Or you had a play? I mean, I missed out on things, but Mm. Mm. I missed out on some big deals and some good chances to make a lot of money. <laughs> but, yeah, Talk but, about it. <laughs> yeah, I missed out on some good chances to make a lot of money. Tell I'll us about it. i just say that. Uh, <laughs> that's not like a really That's how you say you can't see the shit. But stuff. I like, uh, no, nah, I just waste, I think I wasted money on stuff. Damn. Like, like I said earlier when we was talking off camera, like flying private sometimes, I think that's a waste of money. Yeah. Yeah, that's really probably the only thing I would say. I feel like you would want to experience that, but I, like you said, by the time you add it up, you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was like I was going to the same destination as that same person that got that 200 flight. Like, well, I had to spend whatever I spent on it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I've asked a question. <clears throat> All of us right here, right now, somebody gave you a million dollars cash right now. How long you think you could last with it? I'm straight. You straight? I'm straight. How long are you straight? I told y'all what I could do with 50 right now. Thou wow. <laughs> a million? I I mean, 
I'm I'm re- I'm regular, bro. Tell, you know why I will survive for real? Because I just nothing really excites me for real, bro. <laughs> but you you in a different field now. You really not. You are though. Million dollars, bro. But you if don't. you listen, listen, listen. You we have talks all the time. You get a million dollars, and I get it. Your life changes. But for you to just blow through it and have a normal life in two years is kind of like. Nah, people, you shouldn't you, blow through it, but. You slip through depression. I I ain't going to speak on it, but, you know, my lady know. Like, we know somebody who hit the lottery close mm-hmm. to us, and I promise it was gone in a year. This yeah, because they went, they went and, to Tootsie's. And they cleared, <laughs> no. I'm just, <laughs> no. <laughs> So you are right, you get a million dollars. He a dirty nigga. Uh, <laughs> Damn. He got they got a meal. And it was it was more so of they took care of the family. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. no, no. And I feel like that just take that away. Just put that like to an NBA players. And I feel like that's what they got. Or NFL or anybody. Soccer. You get caught up in that once you make that money, it's like you feel like you gotta take care of everybody. Yeah, you, you feel, feel like you owe everybody yeah, you something feel because they help you. Your coach, they used to take you, goddamn it, yeah. back and forth to the candy store and back home. You yeah. got to give bro a hundred. You're responsible. Yeah. So I think if you are, if at our age now, I don't think you would just purposely have to run through that. To run through an M, I, your lifestyle have to be jacked up, bro, for real. I mean, shit. Seriously, you have, because you, you, for you to get an M, and just run, you just spending it crazy, bro. Like, you can live off that. We said 20 years, that's 50K a year. Yeah, yeah if you're living right, but shit, I'm going straight to Ontario. Fuck the family. I mean, but I'm saying, but say, <laughs> you can make you can make a crazy purchase. Say you make a $100,000 purchase, bro. You ain't, you only can make that 10 times. Yeah. That's tough. I mean, and as you said, when you live in the lifestyle within your means, you should be able to do that. But we know niggas who hit scratch offs and start wilding out. We know niggas who hit parlays and start acting different. Yeah, I know somebody personally, but I'm saying, and I'm not saying I'm just the best with money, but at this age, bro, we damn near 40, bro. I just feel like sometimes it's kind of like it's only so much you can do. Cause you're gonna be back at the same square one. Yeah, in a couple you don't want to be at square one, but nah, that's tough. Y'all definitely gonna have a night out though. I, I'm yes. <laughs> you, so, hey, so what's, what's your first? I, I don't hey, what's even. Your first purchase. They give you a million dollars right now. What you gonna I, do? Look, I ain't gonna say nothing. No, oh, no, say it. No, no, no. This no, is no. our platform for you. No, because I was gonna bring up a story, but I. Ain't. Oh come on, Charles. I hope I wasn't but, in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was in that story. Oh God. <laughs> hey, your power rank is boy. <laughs> You been going up and nah, up. Nah, they ain't talking nah, about me throwing out, a mic under the Nah, bro. shout out to Coach Shiggins and DJ. Well, listen. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. The first thing I'm going to do, bro, I'm taking my niggas out of town. Well, and, why you, but why, how am I associated with this? No, I'm just, I shouted out DJ, too. Oh, okay. okay. No, I just shouted out DJ. I'm just saying, I'm going to take... Off. I'm gonna take if I hear someone, I'm gonna take my guys out of town. I'm gonna make sure everything's straight, you know, build whatever. Yeah. But I'm I'm taking my guys out of town. Yeah, yeah definitely. We're gonna have Chris Brown. <laughs> 15, <laughs> Chris Brown, 15 K address. Swipe me down. <laughs> so it's the backstory to that is <laughs> talk about we, went to, we went to Vegas. Talk about it. And, <laughs> Chris Brown was what? How much was it? He was he was fifteen that night. Yeah, he was fifteen k, and I was like, I ain't paying. That. Niggas was gambling. Yeah, I was. We was on the we was on the table oh, trying to get the fifteen. <laughs> y'all was in there hustling for the Chris Brown guys. Yeah, I was like, man, I don't think y'all paying fifteen k for Chris Brown tonight. Oh. Yeah. See, you told him get it out the money. Yeah, we, hey, hey, y'all better Eddie up. I'm telling you, that's the first thing I'ma call, bro. Don't worry about shit. Let's go. <laughs> Tell me it's okay. I was like, Eddie, yeah. Oh, man. Hold on. He said, I got 10. Y'all get the other five. Uh, Hit the okay, table. Oh, okay. God, I was on that. Yeah, he was. Because we went to Yo Gotti the night before. I'm like, yeah, I, I took care of that one. And I was going to go back to Chris Brown. I thought it was going to be the same price. They're like, yeah, it's 15. <laughs> you said, nah. Huh? I nah, told him I was, was nothing, bro. We gonna ante up on this one. Yeah, I was nothing. Matter of fact, it wasn't 15, it was 25. Because you remember I was 16. I won 16. Oh, yep, it was. It was you was trying to make up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. And I'm like, nah, we gonna ante up. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we gonna ante up. I'm still laughing. I'm <laughs> <that y'all laughs> about nigga, we bored in Southwest. <laughs> 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 
Don't put us on spirit, bro. I wouldn't be pissed nah, if I find you. We go, we go. I always wanted to do that, bro. That's fire. Just take my nigga somewhere. Of course, take care of my family. I just wanted to just me on me, take my nigga somewhere, bro, and just go crazy for three days. Swipe it out. Yeah, bro. I'm, I ain't gonna spit no M because we can have we know how to have fun with less, yeah, but have fun with us. You know yeah. with five thousand. Yeah, so that's what I do. But we ain't getting in Chris Brown with five thousand. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> well, I looked at that, I said, hey y'all, uh, I had a group meeting. Hey y'all, uh, <laughs> remember I had I to find the spot. We were to Chris Brown. I had uh, to make a call in Vegas. Yeah, I said it's twenty five k. Everybody was like, okay, yeah. What time we going? We went somewhere for three thousand. <laughs> I was like, they was like, what time we going? I looked at, it, I was like, we ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> nigga hey. changed their whole outfit. Yeah. Everybody took off their best stuff. This nigga had on the whole, he had on that damn deer when we went out to the club. <laughs> which, he, he was, what y'all about to do? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, nah. Uh, hey, that's crazy. Hey, I know y'all should have yeah, seen, five, y'all seen Dave for 2000. Nah, five. You see Dom Kennedy for five, another, right. No disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> Dom Kennedy, we would have been straight. Uh, no, you know, before went you twice. performing on the corner in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> With the loud ass microphone and the speaker. Dom. You said, but they gonna make the free concert. <laughs> I went twice with Dom. Like, That's crazy. Shout out to him. I don't know none of his music, but shout the out to him. The disrespect is crazy. Hey, you going for a hangover and say, hey, we gotta get it out the mud. That's the right. fact that you went to the tables to nah, get it. bro. I, I, oh, God. We he was to on that. Roulette table, bro. I got up 16K, bro, and yeah. lost it. Shout out to my nigga Rambo. He went to the ATM shit for the last time. They told him, no, yeah, sir. They, they, they blocked me. He looked at me and said, I can't get no more cash. <laughs> bro was trying. He reached his limit for today. Oh, <laughs> um, man, Lou. Him yeah. and Lou reached their limit, bro. Try to help for the Christmas. Yeah, you and these niggas was like trying to get home real bad. He was like, nah, we just about to end up for this concert. Yeah, we just trying to end up for Chris, yeah, bro. bro. We had to come well, up with 10. We made the best of it. Man, yeah, that's was on was trying to hit. Yeah. Niggas was on that we, roulette, bro. I was about everybody like, man, anything else we could do, man. We went somewhere they was playing too. <laughs> Y'all went to the Vogue in Vegas. <laughs> oh God, we did. Shout out to Vegas. Hey, hey, I, I understand, but I'd have been mad at the bitch thinking I'm about to see Chris. Now nah, we had fun in the rave. Man, oh God, do, 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 do. I left. He did. He I went to go gamble man. inside the hotel we was at. I can't take this music. Yeah, I was in that motherfucker hitting the Jane. I'm gonna give myself one more chance. We gotta go, Chris Brown. I lost it all. <laughs> you lost uh, it. All? I had, Fucked it I up. had left the table with like four, four, four thousand. Got up sixteen, left with four thousand. I lost mm-hmm. that board. Damn. That's why I don't gamble. Yeah, gambling is tough. But I started with a hundred. Okay, you started with a hundred, made it to sixteen, and got it to what? I left for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all in one day. Oh, it was all in one day, bro. Hey, Thanks. casinos are dangerous, bro. Cause they'll you'll get up early. You be like, all right, cool. I'm in the game, and you bro, look up I was like, damn. Up, up. I was up so much that everybody else on the table. <laughs> Every time I lost, <laughs> Jamar was coming. He's like, oh, you just won? Hold on, let me get some money. He yeah. come over there and lose that. <laughs> he didn't lose that 200 so fast. I bro, swear, so bro. Bad, bro. Wipe niggas down up there. Hey, man, I wish black people could own casinos because the way that they be getting off, dog, we had generational wealth in about one weekend in Vegas. Man. So obviously, you know what I'm saying, with people knowing your profile and people try looking up your salary and shit, have you had any like real crazy like money requests from people? Nah, I was always mean, so <laughs> nobody. You know, I had a couple people be like, "Yo, let me get five thousand, and I, that's a lot to me. Like, I know it ain't, but it is to me. Five like, bands is not. Yeah, a- yeah, I know people be like five thousand, but you ask me for five thousand, I'm low key mad. I I don't know. Like, you you get on my nerves. Like, mm-hmm. if you ain't got no plan with the five thousand, you just like let me get five thousand. But if you like, yeah, I'm gonna get your five thousand back in like a week or whatever. I'm like, okay, I can work with you. But if you ask me for five thousand, just straight up. Now that's different because yeah. somebody telling you in a week, <laughs> that's cool. That means you have yeah, a plan. Yeah. Let me get this five thousand means I ain't gonna ever pay this. Money. Yeah, but I have. I'm out of town. Yeah. Let me. Hey, you got fifteen hundred. I'm like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like you ain't gonna add that bar on there. You know you don't really care. Oh, uh, see that's that's tough. But that's when I got mean though. Everybody know what I mean. Text go green. Yeah. Back everybody. in the day, niggas checking for him. Nigga, you just two th- you just threw two thousand on Rosie, nigga. Yeah. Oh, see, that's you can't pocket watch and ask somebody for money. That's yeah, crazy. Nigga, with him, People used to do that, but mm-hmm. it is what it is. People going out with you. Oh, hey, bro, let me get 
Hey, I just seen what you did over there. Like, wow, hey, oh, you ain't gonna help your man's out, but you go to the strip club. Wow, Jeff. We gotta stop that help your man shit. That's not helping your man's man. That's it's not helping your man's. It really ain't. It, it's kind of hurting your man. So if you can mm, loan, kind of handicapping. Yeah, but because you you gonna loan this. loaning money is different than just giving. Yeah. No, for sure. But the people who want money from you short term or have plans with it typically come to you with a proposition of saying, "Hey, yo." I need this for X, Y, and Z. I'm going to get you a break back. Worst case scenario, I'll get you some more. You just saying, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little low. Can I get two bands? For why? Yeah. Do you think I'm your ATM right now? How y'all feel about, like, helping out women? <clears throat> what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like Entrepreneurs? Like, no, nah, I'm just saying, like, okay. I mean, everybody here got situations, married, age, whatever. <laughs> How y'all feel about like when y'all was single, if a girl would approach y'all about some money, like, yo, let me get blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll talk about it. I'll let Kevin Samuels go first. Oh. <laughs> You're Kevin Samuels, nigga. <laughs> RIP. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show the respect. RIP. <laughs> go. <laughs> you no, speak, his- no, speak on it. I mean, if you got it and you want to do it and you can Is do it, it tricky? I mean, it's, it depends. Low key it is, but I mean, shit, it is what it is. Now, if she's saying I need help with a light bill, okay, cool. If she's saying she want a new car, yeah, you tricking. Okay. What you think? Uh, everything is situational. All right, so I give I well, give a situation. Yeah. Say you deal with a girl, y'all ain't a couple, you just deal with her, and she you like, just blanking. You know, she'll hit you with like <laughs> five hundred. You get the little thing on the Apple, little Apple. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Five hundred. So wait, the request. The yeah. request is coming before the actual text request. Yeah, it's just like, oh, that's out of you pocket. know, I, I need help, but she just like send you the how much you need, and she send you that. Send me five hundred. Do you feel away, or you like? And I already East Bay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you out of pocket for asking for that, and I haven't cooked. No, nah, I don't. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you out of pocket. You like, out of pocket. If I ain't, yeah, yeah. if we ain't been there, yeah. I don't know if you're really out of pocket. Yeah, I don't think you really but out of pocket. You t- that's, you the, that type of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely touching your look. I, that, that type of request, though, I don't I don't think it's bad. But I'm going to be like, I'm going to say why. <laughs> Shout out to the avatars. <laughs> <laughs> your picture game. <laughs> Those pictures you I'm said a, it must be elite. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say why. I'm going to yeah. say why. If, if you send in the 500 with just the attachments, you are called. And I always first. think if you helping a woman out that's really hustling and trying, bro, I don't think you fucked up or I don't think you tricking. Nah, I mean. I think you straight. Realistically, anytime money is involved and you probably did something for a woman opposed to like a homie or a dude, they typically have like reasons or they probably will benefit you one way or another. You can give your blank some money and you're not gonna ever see that again. You're gonna go out with him and he's gonna spend more than that and act like he don't owe you money. Yeah. yeah. Most most times the women in that situation, they're typically responsible with that stuff. Now, it's one thing, like you said, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to say now, DJ, hold on. No, because we, we I don't know where we at on that timing. Cause this, oh, we got time. This is this is this is an Indian giving ass individual. Leave how you came. Oh, so he said goodness. he once before yeah. on our podcast, DJ said the archive episode. If I buy you a purse, leave that purse here <laughs> on your way out. I was being spiteful because I'm gonna put that on StockX and yeah. see if we can run it up. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you send DJ a five hundred dollar request, how he's gonna respond. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> very, very simple. I'm not. <laughs> or do you think like or do you think your significant other deserve like an allowance? Uh, I know it's a thing, like, in certain worlds. I don't think there's wrong. I just feel like, depending upon your financial situation, if your finances in order and you can do whatever you want to like that, that's cool. I ain't mad at it. Like, hey, this is what depending it is. You know what type of girls you like, too. Yeah, and depending upon so what how she girls you think deserve an allowance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. I finally got him. Yes. I finally got him. You ain't, I never, got got, you. I you ain't got never got me. I'm a player-ass <laughs> nigga, period. <laughs> what is he talking about? All right. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Here comes the disrespecting. No, three, no, no, no. So this is what I think. If you can't afford it, you if, know. If so, let's say uh, the allowance is given. Say your your girl just just had a baby. Okay. So from zero to uh, I give you the four. Uh, allowance her out months if we or don't, years. Sorry. If just years. Okay. Four four years old. I'm just giving the scenario. So she just had a baby. We don't want our baby to go to daycare. Mm-hmm. 
we don't trust these. We hear all this crazy stuff going on with these daycares. Take care of her while she take care of the crib. Because you got a bill anyway if you was to send that baby off to daycare. Yeah, I dig it. So if so, she take care of the baby, boom, we'll, we'll, we'll do okay, that. Okay, but what about, like... So right, once my but, baby's four, you got to figure something out. Oh, so there's no more allowance. Oh. So, like, I, I can't go go buy some shoes. I can't get my nails done. Yeah, I can't just do like all that. how Minnesota did you. Three year... <laughs> Like finished three year fifty seven. You're gonna shout out my buddy. Oh god. How ATL did you? Oh. Four, four year thirty two. Man, you gonna keep hey. shout out my buddy. Out. And shout out to the Minnesota Timberwolves <laughs> fans for, for hating in the comments. Oh, hey, oh, I'll fuck with y'all. They, they was nothing. Crazy. Nah, but I hold on. Nothing bad, bro. They, you did. They caught you all time. I like I like Minnesota. The, oh, uh, the, the organization. <laughs> You fans was weak. But <laughs> I like the organization. Fans was trash. No, nah, yeah, but let's for real. I think uh, that's to me a four year period, and then once the baby is able to go to preschool and start, that's when y'all should start figuring out like what you about to start doing to help both of us. So basically, you saying you you putting your your baby mama on the dead shoulder deal? You putting her in the middle of an exception for four yeah, years? Yeah, bro. Because I think uh, to me, I think that's fair. Because nah. I know women don't like going to uh, putting their babies in daycares and stuff like that. It'd be hard. So that's my only pushback. So to when it. y'all, so when it's back to normal, like mm. we both hustling. Ah, uh, so it's like, yeah, you get it how you get it, I get it how I get it. Yeah, but we still work together as a team, though. But how does that conversation go? with you saying that you're not sending that that direct? Nah, but let's just just say I do construction, bro. But my wife handle all the business. Yeah, mm-hmm. we working together, bro. Yeah, you, but you what doing? about that extra six hundred a month that? You ain't. I don't get that no more. Six hundred. No, nah, I gotta whack that. Cause now, cause now, hold on. So now you ain't fucking with the stimulus nah, no more. Now my baby probably doing gymnastics. Now we we gotta we gotta fund that. Okay. No, you fund it still. Yeah, you you yeah, gotta fund you, that. You do have to fund it. Allowance. I still. Who y'all talking to? How you in this scenario? I, I, I'm just saying. If you, I'm just saying. Just say I was rich, bro. Just filthy. You are. Just filthy. Watch your mouth. We filthy. I'm pocket watcher. What I'm saying is. If I'm giving you allowance, like let's try to help me either get richer or <laughs> figure out something for you to do. I feel that. So she can only get money if she works for you. No, nah, I'm just saying because everybody, low, mm. everybody, everybody low key need an HR. I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah. You need wow. some type of HR, bro. I feel. You. But shout nah, out, it's her I feel HR. You, that's how. Like that's a. Seriously, nah, I feel that because I I don't care. Like you know, we all got our girls now, or whatever. But I don't think. Nobody, none of us, or anybody that I know personally just want to take care of a girl. Or the girls that I know, they don't want to be taken care of like that because huh? what girls you know? I'm saying to where they don't do absolutely nothing because girls feel like men kind of overdo it with the, oh you I'm taking care of you, so you better shut up when I tell you to shut oh, up. Oh, you haven't been on Instagram. Yeah. Girls really don't feel, listen, y'all, y'all keep, that's why I hate the social media. That's not real, bro. Let's go. No woman wants to be talked to like, I'm paying all your bills, so what you got to say to me? They don't want to hear that, bro. I don't care what y'all say, bro. Because uh, women take it as, if you're taking care of me, just take care of me, bro. Don't give me no lip. But usually how it goes is, Oh, we know if better I'm than taking that. care of you and you're not doing nothing but coming in here and get, letting me carve <laughs> and you ain't cooking for real or your food gaga. Ooh. We here. You bet not give me no lip. Be here True say, or false? Be here say, if I swipe that car, you better not be greeting me with grilled cheeses and frowns. Hey, look, I'm a, I'm a Taco why? Bell quesadilla eating motherfucker. But <laughs> why would they give you lip though if you're taking care of everything? Oh. What do you mean? Why would they? Like, why would, what would they have to complain about? I mean, situations still happen. You ask women to stop complaining. Okay, no, 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 I'm asking him. No, He's man. giving me the idea. I'm no, like, I'm just saying. You you came home at four a.m. You out of pocket. Why don't you check in? Wait, well, what? If I'm taking care of everything like that. You probably really see. That's ain't what I'm my saying. Girl, though. Oh, see. Talk so, about it. That's the flip side of it, though. Girls don't like getting talked to. I don't care what y'all say. Women don't like getting talked to like that. Because now it's like, girl, you can't say that to me. I just paid your car note. You can't afford it. Because wow, I don't nobody do that. Who? Y'all, out of, y'all out of pocket if y'all tell a girl. Oh, he, he uh, uh, a nigga, uh, uh, a gentleman to tell a lady, hey, you will be in a Corolla. <laughs> You're driving an Audi. <laughs> make the, it make sense. And, Choose your battle. And just shit gets spooky, somebody else going to be in Man, this Corolla. So I don't feel like girls. So to me, I feel like I would be more so of, 
like like I said, just do construction. <laughs> I build houses. I got the whole team, but you handle all my paperwork. We and work you just pay her through that. Yeah, that's fine. Because I gotta give somebody some bread anyway. So why not I take care of my lady and she helping me excel, bro? Yeah. So when did she tell you that I don't want to work for you, but I still want you to send that stimulus? How's that conversation go? She says she's, she's she doesn't going, want to work for your oh, company. She's, she's turning in her notice <laughs> <laughs> for the, for the company or the relationship. <laughs> That that's where it gets spiky. <laughs> that's where she it gets, gets real cactus like. <laughs> Cause then, okay, she turned in her notice. Cool. What you finna do? Back in the day, if I slam jam something and you ain't my lady, after a while, she what you finna be on? What you what you about to do? What you, Hey, it's time for him to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, That what you want is one of the hardest bars of all time. What? What nah, time? but that's what real. Time you, you had to work. Oh, yeah. she... <laughs> you sure you watched that one? Yeah. She works taking shit. It's three yeah. a.m. What time but, you got to go to work? Yeah. So if and I think that goes for a woman too, oh, man. like because we they they patience. Women can say whatever they want. They patience is thin with us. When it comes to finances, if we lose a job, yeah. bro, we on a timer, bro. We on a timer. Is that true, ladies? Absolutely. We on a timer. We on a timer. So they ain't so, sticking by their men. They ain't got no job. Ooh. I think they will, but it's a, you on a timer though. You can only how be out of work so long. They they give you three months. It depends on how how much I put you up though. Yeah, that's true. But shit, I mean, if a girl come in making equal as you and she feel like she just can do without you, your timer is more cut than the dude that has been taking care of her over going crazy yeah. and he fall off. She gonna have more grace for him, yeah, because she know what he could do for real. Yeah, but then she, she start listening to that. her work husband though, and that's when shit gets spooky. <laughs> hey, if she got a work husband, get her out of here. They they might be necessary, beneficial, <laughs> or beneficial. To beneficial to who? Because <laughs> the work husband usually it be a dang. I can't say that word no more. Uh, a redacted. Yeah, it usually be one a broken wrist. Okay, left handed. No, James Harden. They find a friend that they connect with. You share their stories with. You know what I'm saying? So, but what about if it's like a dude that like his wrist is fixed? Yeah, I'm gonna fix him. It depends, bro. Just keep it at work. You better than me. I, I, I'm clearly for too. what you said. Yeah, he probably. <laughs> Hey, he snitching. <laughs> what did I say though? No, he snitching. What I said, Brandon snitching. What did I say though, Mike? What I said, <laughs> Mike? How you feel about work husbands? <laughs> you ain't saying shit. <laughs> All episode. <laughs> nah, bro. I just think the, the work husband stuff. It just girls be just liking to talk to somebody at work. Though. What about they got a? But if they work at a call center, Instagram, it's different. What about they got an Instagram crush? Ah, uh, I mean, that they sharing. Uh, I don't know if they talk, but they just like, you know, you could tell like they like they picture or they like be fans. Oh, of them, somebody like, that they can actually talk to if they wanted to though. Yeah, but or like they might be like a celebrity, like whatever. I'm cool with that. Celebrity is cool. But if he got But like he's just like a trainer or something. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, Lord. No, 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 no. Yeah, you like the Billy Blake pictures. Y'all, y'all, is crazy. y'all think everybody got like a little Instagram crush though? Facts. Facts. And anybody who doesn't slime. Yeah. I don't think I got an Instagram crush. I, okay, I ain't gonna throw you out there. That's cool. I'm gonna take a word for it. King. My Instagram crush is P Gummy. Talk about it. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just play it. <laughs> no, I think so. Yeah, I think so. But to your point, you were talking about women. Like, hey, honestly, look, they buy you some shoes and shit gets shaky. They're like, where them shoes at? I don't know if too many hold it down for 90 days. Because if they come home and see you playing 2K on the couch, uh, it is up. I, I still pay the bills and I play 2K. It's like. But you see, you something said else. something that's very loud. You still pay the bills. Yeah, but I still get the. Oh my God. Are you still playing 2K? Yeah, but it, if you wasn't paying the bills. You want to hear something funny? When she found out that I might be getting a new job, she was like, You finally have something to do. I'm so happy. Yeah, bro. I said, I'm cutting the lights off. Because <laughs> you don't do shit. I ain't paying the light bill. Because nah, you don't do shit. But I'm saying, a girl who look at you like, Damn, he's not trying. It's up for you, bro. But you can't do the same thing to her, though. Yeah. You sure can. Yeah. You I same. wish you would get say, out. have you been trying to get a job today? Because I'm you watching Snap all day. I've like, seen you on yeah. every TikTok. You can say that. You can, mm-hmm. but. And then when you put her out, they can be like, oh, he ain't real. Oh, uh, y'all weak then. <laughs> y'all weak. Y'all weak individuals. Who, me? I'll yeah. never put my girl out. Mm-hmm. you. 
No, I'm just I'll saying leave, because bro. if you if you can't, this is my thing. If you can't have a mutual, whether who's up or who's down, then your relationship is BS, bro. I feel you. That's real. Straight up. So if you could, if I can tell you to get out, you can tell me the same thing. Or that I'm slacking. You're supposed to be on your partner like that, bro. Yeah. I don't think I could ever let a woman pay a dude. That's hard. Am I crazy? No. I'm not, I, I, mean, mean, I mean, you not simple ass nigga, but I, I'm just I'm saying. I'm saying like if I'm my significant other, I could never let her pay the bills. I feel like that's just me. Like Aww. I just got to go. No, nah, yeah, yeah, real. but I'm like, just. I, I'm but just, I, that come with something though, like because I'm not gonna buy you nothing. Yeah, like that's. <laughs> what, see what I'm saying? That's why I was. I was trying to say you some grace, give you an all, but he, he, he said nah. He, he nah, I'm being real. Like <laughs> I, I pay all the bills. I make sure the cars are straight. I get yeah, the lids, but that little bag. I know you go to work. Go get that bag. <laughs> yeah, you because like, you feel like you're making up for everything. Yeah, else. Yeah, I take care of everything. So up. it's the same thing, bro. Like. Yeah, a, so, a, a girl that's taking care of herself, but she's getting lavish gifts from somebody. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's just that. different ways, bro. So she might pay all her bills. You just bought her a Birkin. It's still the same way. It's the, it is. The bills and buy the Birkin. Yeah, <laughs> I mean different. you will, but yeah. to, depending on depending on your bracket, I said Birkin. Like Birkin is out of pocket. I'll take it down to Chanel. Yeah, Nigga, you yeah. can take a little bit lower than that. <laughs> Michael Kors. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, you find your girl Michael Kors, you don't love her. You with cheating. All the, with all the MKs everywhere. Ooh, that's yeah, nasty. I can't wait. I can't wait no, I'm just saying that Chanel's like 5G. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So you get a Chanel for 5G, so you you know, you keep, you get her the shoes. She might like the dunks that cost, how much are the lobsters? <laughs> a crazy price on gold. Seven, okay. 800. You know what I'm saying? So if you feed that bill, it's the same thing, really, bro. But if y'all break up, you see her in the picture. You're going to ask for talk. it back. Oh, the Birkin, for sure. That's an investment. You're asking for the lobsters back. No, nah, she can keep the see, shoes. See, that's why I'm cool with paying the bills, because I got to pay them anyway. Mm. For all the gifts. Mm, I like mm. that. You get, you like get that. yourself. Yeah. yeah. I got to pay my bills anyway. But if we live together, like, yeah. I got to I like pay that. But you said even before, too. You can keep the car. DJ is repoing. Oh that no 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 no! The car's coming back. That's out of pocket. <laughs> That's out of pocket. DJ is repoing the Audi. God's still working on me. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't there yet financially, but if I buy you a a vehicle and you leave, that car stays parked. <laughs> you can go wherever the fuck you want to. That's this motherfucker crazy, is bro. now my daily driver. That's well, crazy, nah, bro. You, you out it. of pocket? Yeah, you got the way. And, yeah. and that's fine. That's a low life side of you. He's funny, he's funny, bro. And that's he's why. Funny. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Is he's going to take your, those gifts back? Have your new nigga pick you up. So right. what you think about what you think about the fifty fifty? Uh, I mean, forget what he said. What you mean, like one fifty fifty in the household? Yeah, I feel like everybody needs to work towards what your financial state is. If your mm-hmm. financial state is all right, you got it, and you can pay all of it. Of course, like yeah. I, I, that's, I'm something on that. But if y'all in a situation where y'all building towards something. And she's okay with that, then so be it. Personally, I wouldn't. I would like to pay the bills in my household. I feel like that's a flex. Like, I feel like that's cool to take care of your people, regardless of how you feel about it. The 50 50 shit, I mean, I guess if it makes sense for y'all, I ain't mad at it. But too many people be complaining about situations that really ain't doing that shit. It's literally be like 75 25, and they be talking about 50 50. No, nigga, it ain't. Man, I, I just think if, you, if your girl fall off, Hold her down. Hold her down. But if you do fall off, it should be the same, bro. And I know it's not like that reality-wise. And I hate it's to say not. this, and I don't, I don't really go too far, but realistically, we see a lot more niggas falling off than we see girls falling off. Now, girls may not ever start to get on, but <laughs> the ones who get on or got their shit going, they steady. Like, they going out till 3 a.m. and they seeing A's and getting up and working at 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. I don't know too many girls who, whatever they do in their social life, Still got a crib and a fucking job. I know a lot of niggas who be on Instagram going crazy, and he is getting up at noon the next day because he ain't got no motion. So I can't really vouch for niggas on that behalf because more times than likely, it's the other way. But we also know, shit, there's some trifling motherfuckers out here. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, even with that, though, like, it's easier for a girl to go back and move with her mom if she get evicted than a <laughs> It is, bro. Yo, I'm laughing because, man, y'all <laughs> crazy, boy. I've been doing some situations, boy. They do go back with their mama, though. They do. It's the easiest saying. And they don't even be liking their mama, too. And That's when you know you're pissed off. your friends is not judge you looking at you no type yeah, of way. Yeah, a girl can live with their mama till they 35. Yeah. They don't feel no way. It's cool, bro. And like, if you at home and you 35 with your mom, it's probably not hitting. So you got to reevaluate a couple different things because if it was hitting, you would be sheltered. 
Oh, I can't take, say that. Take care, take care of the crib if you can. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it Fact. is. Girl, stop, stop putting all the pressure on the men, man. Oh, you can't say that. I can, bro. What's too much for a gift? Like, like, do you think it's out of pocket when you see like? I don't know, trickeroo. What you think? Well, here I am. I'm tricky. Right. No, no, no. I just gave you that. No, I mean it's uh, I mean it's, that's it's on that's on your on. bracket. I mean, it's whatever your pockets look like, but I was gonna cap. I was gonna say. We, oh, <laughs> the homemade <laughs> gifts and the, I'm more of that type of guy. Yeah, but I, no, that's I'm, a lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't at all. But I be thinking like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sentimental at all, bro. Only girls try. Only girls get off in the middle shit. You go buy something nice and say, oh my god, our first day I saw this. It was twelve dollars and thought of us. Well, add another zero. And make me think of something else. Yeah, I don't because if your dude take you on a picnic, y'all weak. Yeah, I, I, I just it. be on that. <laughs> it is nothing against it. I'm just telling how my initial like. That basket trash. Hey, yeah. fuck what he talk about. If your bread is low, you can make a picnic fucking work. No, it ain't oh, about man. the bread. I'm just, forget, you could be real. I just be thinking like, though, why do you want to go sit in the grass? Yeah, it's yeah easy, that's man. assy. <laughs> I'm yeah, just I, keeping it real. I, engaged, I've done it before, I just too. opened the ring like this and threw it on the bed. Like, <laughs> I don't even I ain't got, got no ass. type of sin, Wait, man. I was like, yeah, man, we going to do this for what? <laughs> you LeBron um, powder tossed it? <laughs> Sign of death or not? Yeah. How you gonna do it? You see, Suge Knight. She was like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, but I think women do appreciate. The, I just the got that envy. Like I be, I be wanting to like. I be trying, you know, I be bro. I people promise. had like the rose petal set up. I go there, I start, man, I'm going downstairs to play too. Yeah, because I be looking at TikTok, I'm like, this stupid yeah, ass how nigga they be doing these rose that, petals all the way through. How about who gonna clean that up? No, nah, facts. Housekeeping. <laughs> like, <laughs> Rosa and them gonna come slide facts. Back. But yeah, then like, I be thinking, like, if I do it, it's cheesy. I mean, it's already been done they so probably many appreciate times. appreciate the hell out of that. We did that, though. I'm about to do yeah. something nice. There we go. See, look what at that positive. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> See, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get I you. I be trying to do nice stuff, but I can't, I can't, like, surprise nobody. Like, I'll get peace and I'll just be like, hey, yeah. yo, here. Yeah. And she be like, my birthday's in three days. You could have waited. Like, I can't wait. I don't know. Bro. That's how I, I am, bro. Yeah. That's how I am. I'd probably be ruining all type of moments for her. <laughs> <laughs> she probably be having stuff that she want to post on Instagram. I'd be tearing them up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> she got to recreate them. <laughs> I say, oh, everything. I love you to death. Bro. I see the recreate a moment, bro. You know, oh, my God. <laughs> she was like, uh, we got to do this over. <laughs> and she set it up herself. <laughs> Damn, yeah, the Tyler Perry mode in this one. Yeah, all over the death, bro. You she, fuck, I be ruining all You her, fucking bro. up all her content. I be ruining her content. Hey, you ever get an idea from somebody else and use it for somebody else? Oh, then that's all I can't wait to do for somebody yeah. actually like. Yeah. But I think girls, if you if you got a <laughs> thoughtful it? girl, though, you got to appreciate that, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Thoughtful girls, though, they appreciate They go a long way. For sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I, I yeah, because yeah. I, I think. I dated some people who were thoughtful. I dated somebody who's thoughtful. Yeah, but girls know like, how to be thoughtful and cheap. I'm gonna talk about that too. Oh, look at your camera. It's time. How do right you here or here? That's you. Cause look, so Break say, it. shoot, say you you bought her, I don't know, a crazy bag. Yeah. But you just bought that bag. She might hit you with the rose petals, mm-hmm. the, the 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 notes, the goddamn lingerie, the mm-hmm. goddamn man. That shit came up to a hundred. She done made dinner. But her whole presentation is so crazy, yeah. you forget about how much it costs. Not me. Nah. You nope. forget. No, no, no. Because when you in a moment, you do, bro. Because you're Ooh. like, damn. I'll be like, damn, where them shoes at? <laughs> Man. Man, I swear to God, it's a fact. I'll be <laughs> looking. P, no. Don't come with these road pedals in these. Yeah, if you ain't got no real game, yeah, yeah, yeah you are that. Is, but I'm saying, I'm just talking about how they where can. That, by the door does where not have it without a contribution. <laughs> where that motorcycle out outside? I know over there doing shit like this. Yeah, like, hey, let's clean this up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, bro, but I said, I girls, we, <laughs> we ain't with. So when I see a dude on TikTok go crazy like that, I'm like, damn, yeah, that's a. I want to do that. I'm going to do it. Him but I had to well, hire somebody bro. to do it. Hey, you know what else is crazy, though? We've been going a lot for gifts and stuff, and the girls be giving us the same box that they was going to give us two weeks ago and be like, surprise! Yeah. Why can't we get away with that? Yeah. But, I, I probably do. I, I'm trash. <laughs> yeah, I just I just <laughs> rather... I, I really got to step my game. Up. I just really don't want no <laughs> gifts for real. I'm going to keep it real because uh, uh, no. my fuck got buy me some luggage. <laughs> I only travel a couple times. <laughs> 
So I don't really want, and it's not that I'm not. What kind golfing. of luggage you go buy? I'm gonna probably get that TJ bag. Ooh, See, Calvin Klein. I'm gonna get the big, but it's light. You know the I'm big, saying? but it's light. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just, oh, and I'm not even speaking about my own situation. I'm just saying in, in general. general, like, period, bro. I Entertainment just purposes, think, guys. The thoughts ain't really like, we get cologne. Right. We get, we they abuse the cologne. Oh, don't get me started on we Father's Day gifts. We get luggage, we get t-shirts, draws, all that. Like, girls ain't, man, too many girls pulling up with a whip. I, I just know. got you the new, not even... You ain't got to buy the G wagon. You ain't pull up with the charger, <laughs> or the or the charger you know from my mean? iPhone. Like I don't even think girls go that far. So that's why when Ari and them do that online, they buying land and stuff. It's like, yeah. damn, that's yeah, I crazy. Think, yeah, I think that's real. No, I do. I, I think to an extent it is, but I don't believe all of it. Ah. Do y'all think they really buying them cars or they just leasing? Yeah, they're definitely leasing them. The they definitely leasing them. Uh, yeah. They'd be smart. I mean, bro, we be talking about how much rappers make from streams. I'm sure that these niggas aren't buying cars every year. I'm sure that they're leased. You would be smart to lease them. I don't know why you need to own that many cars of that magnitude. It's okay if for leasing. A, if you bought a dude a car lease or, or fully owned out, you still got it for him. Yeah, I still signed and put That's this like on my credit card. like somebody you buy a house and then war versus somebody with a mortgage on it. Still <laughs> bought a career, bro. They yeah. said people with apartments are homeless because they don't own them. I'm like, damn, nigga. Nah, that's see, so that's, crazy. That's the ignorant way. Yeah, that's ignorant. Much. <laughs> but I... I would lease, like, if I was single, I would buy a car and lease it to a girl, so. You a two-year lease it? Yeah, and if they wanted to leave, <laughs> I'll send them a notice. Okay, like, you got a little DJ in you. Pause. I'll I put it in their name. I, so, I'm a, like, you I'm can leave kid. all you want, but with that two- Nah, see, girl, you got you got to watch him. Because he he made her a co-signer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, nah, I don't know. It's on you, baby. Nah, like. I'm like, yeah, you want to be the owner of that thing? Oh, yeah. she go, I got you. She gonna roll over and show Jeff his contract in Minnesota. I'm like, nah, nigga. You gonna put your name on <laughs> But for real, you know girls always be like, put it in my name because I don't want you to take it when you get mad. No, they don't want to put your name until the balance is paid. Yeah. Mm, they nah. want the pink slip. Nah, they never gonna get that. So uh, you gonna take the car back? Nah, I'm gonna let, y'all gonna just have to pay the note. Like, yeah, I don't want it. It's still yours. That's smart. They come get it. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. All right, man. Before we get out of here, right, as promised, you know what I'm saying? We go to the YouTube comments. Hey, shout out to the YouTubers. We appreciate y'all. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We need all that shit. We greatly appreciate supporting us. But I said every week I'm going to go through and see some of the best comments. Going back to a comment, uh, I'm going to shout homie name out. It's from Glenn episode. Shout out GR3 for sliding through on the episode. Appreciate you, Nasty. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, those comments was The crazy. comments are hilarious, man. Uh, shout out to Jay Hens, 88. He said, this is gold, man. Keep doing this stuff. The fans love the perspective that they are giving fans from the NBA. Appreciate you rocking with us. That is real, man. We try to give y'all insight about a lot of different things. It's a lot of basketball shows out here. We more than basketball, but we try to keep it real with whatever we do out here. So with that being said, please comment. You could be on this show next week, possibly, if the comment is dope enough. If you want to get our attention to get it, all you got to do is show a lot of hate. Because you know what? We love that shit. Shout out to the Minnesota fans. Keep it coming. We appreciate it. Y'all gave us our biggest reel in the world for hating on Jeffrey. That's crazy. I can't believe I'm the most hated Timberwolves player ever. Yes. And you ain't... You, you I'm like top five hated most Timberwolves players. They said, man, you trash. It was what? trash while we... Uh, I was rolling. They thought that my feelings was hurt. No. I was really Shout out to that. Josh. Shoot. They told my man he couldn't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> J.O., man, you got to get on the show, but they was on your top sure. four. Hey, That's why y'all about to win a title. Like, yeah, he with the Suns now. He going to win a title. Hey, we we going to celebrate in Minnesota. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a parade in your city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> and with that being said, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate y'all. We'll rock with y'all next week.